Well, welcome back to another Mindek video, guys. Um, today, we're gonna be doing a little ice fishing. I got my good buddy out here. You guys saw him in a squirrel hunting video. Uh, his name is T-Bone. He's kind of, I don't know. He does a lot of fishing around here. Just a little bit, right? So hopefully, him and I can go slap some walleyes. We don't have too much time left of the day. We got about two hours of daylight left, and then it's gonna be dark, and hopefully we can catch some walleyes, or perch, or crappie, or whatever kind of moves in. But uh, I'm gonna be using Guggen baits only today. Depends how the bite is. It's gonna be a challenge. Basically, I'm gonna be using Guggen baits to see how many fish I can catch on them, or if the fish will like them, or if they will even work in the winter time. But uh, I know they work in the summertime. We're gonna see if they work in the winter time. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Some fish are aggressive today. Um, I haven't been up here in a while. I haven't been fishing in a while, to be exact. And I'm pretty excited to get back out here and get ice fishing again. Hey, you guys just stay tuned. We're gonna go to a lake not too far from my house here and uh, hopefully put a beating on them. Well, we made it here to the first spot and uh, there's two sides of the lake that we wanna try. One side's a shallower slough and we go try that first. We just drill a couple holes, marked one fish. We're gonna see if we can't catch any fish on that side of the lake and if not, we know we can catch fish on this side of the lake. So we'll come over here if we don't catch anything over here. I'm just gonna step on the GoPro, whole hop around there for like 10 minutes and nothing will just come back over here to this side. So you guys stay tuned. We're at the first hole here and uh, she's in a little buckshot from Northland. Green perch, glow perch. Got a little plastic on there. It's a little cold to be using live bait right now. So, drop it out and see what happens, I guess. Pretty freaking shallow here, boys. Deepest part that we found was five, eight and a half feet of water. And that was one hole. We drilled like five yards on either side of it and it was only three feet on the other side. So that was like that one deep hole that we found. This hole is three feet and it's quite a ways away from there. So I don't know what those fish strats are, but you know, hopefully we can find them. Not looking good at all. All right guys, we're gonna go drill holes on the other side of the bridge. See if we can't mark anything over there. Be careful, because there's obviously moving water near bridges, and sometimes bridges aren't always the safest ice, so you guys just be careful out there when you're adventuring out close to the bridges. Um, I mean, we knew this bridge was gonna be safe, and we got a good about, we got about a good foot right next to the bridge, so you guys just be careful out there. There's absolutely no wind over here. Feels good over here. No wind. So, looks like there's been a few people fishing over here already. 5.2 feet of minty water, boys. I don't think that's very minty. Why not? Three freaking minty feet? Yeah. Should we go talk to him? Yeah. All right, we're gonna go talk to the guy over there. Hey. How you doing? Marking anything yet, or? Not yet. Sure. Well, guys, we just got seven in the shag. We're fishing in about five, two feet of water. Not the deepest, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But we got the shack all set up, and uh, minnow buckets fell. And who needs a minnow bucket when you got freaking sleds, right? That's gonna be freaking awesome to clean up. But anyway, we give us a stay tuned, and uh, we'll see if we can't catch anything. Guys, we got a variety. We got worms. We got trench hogs. We got about just everything we need for Guggen baits. I got a lot more in the back behind me, but uh, we got crawlers. We got all these, and uh, these are my favorite right here. The rattling Ned. These things absolutely slap the fish. Oh, oh yeah. That's gonna bring the fish in. Put these guys back in here. It is a California, or yeah, California crawl color. It's like a watermelon flake kind of looking strat here. Just gonna close that bag back up. See, you guys can hear the rattles on that end. We don't need too much of the plastic. So what I'm gonna do is bite off about three of these little things down here, so. Very salty, don't taste that good, but as you guys can tell, we still got the rattle. Maybe I should put this on a tungsten, I don't really know, uh, but. We're just gonna slap her. Well, that's a good good hook explosion there, boys. Expose the hook a little bit. And I mean the buckshot itself's got some good rattles too, so we're just we're just throwing that piece of turd down there and see what happens. Oh sh that fish. There's a fish. Holy Dude, that is a giant fish. 
Dude, get down there, bro. What are you doing? I'm trying to, I'm trying to tie up. Bro, that was a giant fish that came on the screen. Did you see that, though? Yeah, bro. That mark was huge. What do you think that was? A pike? I don't know. To be honest with you. Oh, no. I wasn't even paying attention. Classic. Imagine if I had a minnow on. You think I would have slammed it? Yeah. No, bro. Of course, I'm using the Guggen baits. So T-Bone's putting down a dead stick. He's got a jigging rod in. I'll rip you to the minnows. Yeah. Should I give them some water? Or this gets them fired up. Yeah, well, they'll be fine. They'll be booing in there. So I've got looked at twice right now with the rattling net on there. I think it's just the rattles and they're just like, ooh, bet. Yeah. And then they see it and they're just like, eh, no, I'm good. But both times I've had them look at it, it's just dead sticking, you know? So I don't know what that strat is. Hooking mm hard. -hmm. Hard. Oh no. Did he whack it? Yeah, yeah, nope. He bit it, did he not? There you go, there you go. Get in. <gasps> oh, it's a perch. It's a tiny little perch, dude. It's not bad. It seems that... Dude, I can't. Dude, come on. I'm filming, bro. I can't get copyrighted. Bro. TikTok is where it's at, bro. Sure, it's TikTok. Every time you watch TikTok, bro, you'll get a fish on your screen. That is true. A yeah, buddy with a little <laughs> seven inch perch. Hell yeah, brother. First fish of the day, though. Not bad one. Hopefully, many more to come. Are you keeping them or. <laughs> as, a, as a pet. You're keeping them as a pet, right? Go down there or not, dude. Shoot. Dude, what the heck? I didn't even mark it, bro. I know, that's how, my, well, I, I didn't mark mine until it was Like, I was literally boom. watching my vex and there's no mark. It was just a bite. I was just sitting here, boys, and it just, boom, like, hit it so hard. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I find it. Oh, dude, look at this mark on me. Oh, where'd it go, dude? It's coming to me, bro, that's why. It better be. Mark right there. Come yep, on. yep. There we go. Oh, it's a little go. walker. Ow, chill, chill, chill. Oh no, oh no. Save my buddy. Look at that, boys. Keep that it. was. <laughs> Keep it, he says. For what? A pet? I think it's a wall hanger. Not gonna lie. Might be. It's not a bad one, boys. A little, little, little dinker. We're gonna let buddy go. On oh, the freaking Guggen bait. Deuce is my dude. Oh, okay. No, you. You went uh, down the hole. There, there you go, Chief. All yeah, right. You're good. Everything fell off. Your gigging bait's laying over there. Oh, boys, the freaking rattle. And that was a freaking botch. Here it is. I don't know. It fell off when it came out the hole, but that, the, the, nat, the rattle, the rattle of it is gone. So we need a new rattle. So we're going to take her and do the same thing. All right. We're going to drop her back down. Get the new piece of rattle in that and uh, see if we can't whack any more fish, eh? You gotta let me know. I don't want anything to do with them. Big in? No. It's a Bro, walleye. That is a walleye? Yeah. You're joking. I swear to God. You're... I swear to God. Bro. I swear to God. How did that thing bite that, bro? It's only the size of the lure. Look. Bro, what the heck? How did that little guy merc... Dude, what... How in the? Look at that! Look at that thing. That's literally a minnow, dude. Well, how's it going, guys? I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Mostly, it's just been GoPro footage. But we have caught one fish in the Guggen base, which is very exciting. I did not think it was gonna really work. Not gonna lie, I came out here with the mindset that probably won't catch anything on the Guggen base. But guess what? We freaking did. Just a little Walter T-bone caught a little, 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 very little walleye that was like yay big they stocked a million of them in this lake this year so there's probably a lot of those guys bombing around but there's also some decent fish in here anyway we're gonna keep fishing I, he did catch one decent perch um i had a couple fish that hit me well i had one other fish that hit me and i missed it because i'm cheeks at fishing but hopefully we can get some more decent walleyes as night comes and uh, you guys just stay tuned and i'll see you guys on the gopro so we haven't had luck with the rattle and that we're gonna switch up to a slim shake and maybe we'll get like a giant pike or catfish or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. The catfish. I've never seen anyone catch catfish with the ice. I don't know if that's a strat or not. 
So maybe we'll catch a big old large mouth in here. <laughs> Look at this freaking thing. It's a freaking beefcake, boys. Sheesh. Uh, I don't do better off. Oh wow, that's real yummy out here. Yum 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 yum. What about that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We so we got this. We're throwing that off to the side, and we're using this big chungus. We're gonna center down the hole, see if we don't get any more bites. And uh, fingers yeah. crossed. And the propane's dead. And I don't really want to put a new one in because this sounds like a lot of work. It's not too bad in here. No. We'll we'll leave when it starts to get cold. I love that. Dang, bro, it's getting cold out real quick. Well, guys, the heater died. I switched up to the slim shake and nothing. No bites, not a mark, and it's getting cold in here. Well, Buddy um, had a great idea because one of his old reels broke. He's like, oh, hey, let's just throw it on the lake for some odd reason, even though that's littering. I think I need to get myself onto one of the flat side crankbaits that Guggen baits make. One of the harder baits, like a vertical jig that bad boy. It's like a ripping wrap, basically. People use those all the time for walleye, so maybe that's what I need to get. But so far, they work, and I think really with aggressive walleye and stuff, it doesn't really matter, but with more finicky fish, it might matter. Um, if the fish were very aggressive, they would just come up and slam it. They wouldn't care what's on the end of your hook. Um, but, I mean, we caught a fish on it, so I'm not complaining about it. It was not bad. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.